morning traders welcome to the Asian preview from Privateer FX let's get right to the charts it was a very quiet session here today um, no major reversal patterns a uh, little bit a little bit of dollar weakness we had a euro dollar reversal higher day and dollar yen reversal lower day but um, you know nothing uh, nothing too dramatic here's the uh, here's the dollar yen took out that high from Friday and then Closed lower on the day, and uh, euro dollar, euro dollar had a, a bit of a move up, and there was really nothing out. We uh, we did make a new low in Asia, and then went up to 118.34 high, but we did we came off here. We're back down to 117.80. Um, no real news uh, caused this dollar weakness. It might have been some profit taking from last week. Um, let's take a look at some uh, some chart points that remain in focus. Here's our dollar CAD. This 129.15.20 area is a uh, should yield some topside if we if we start taking out these highs. That's one that's been on our radar for a while. Also dollar Swiss put in an interesting low today with the euro up near on the highs of the day. You can see what uh, dollar Swiss held here again this 98.37, 98.40, 98.39 today. You know this area right here the horizontal and uh, is looking like a good break trade if there if there is any disappointment out of this out of the tax reform bill but uh, things seem to be moving right along on that front um, but it could you know it could be one of these uh, you know buy the news sell the fact buy the rumor sell the fact and um, you know a lot of uh, dollar Strength is was getting was getting priced in, um, priced in you know uh, last week as uh, the momentum was turning positive for this tax reform. British pound had a had a nice up day again. No, no nothing really out of uh, the UK caused that, but we do like this 133 the figure area for a uh, a break if uh, if there's some negative Brexit headlines. Pop over to uh, Bitcoin. The CME, as discussed, the CME uh, launched their futures contract la yesterday on the Asian Open, and uh, volumes were okay. Um, you know, it's going to take a while for some of these institutional investors to get get their limits and their margins uh, sorted out before you're going to be before we'll start seeing any real real volumes. So it didn't do a whole lot of anything. Let's take a look at the daily chart. Um, you know, we, we did get up to that very close to that uh, 20,000 level. Again, this is the Coinbase one. And, uh, you know, we're trading down here at 18, uh, 18,800. Um, you know, we'll be watching this. This, uh, this low here, this 18,200 we highlighted. So an old high up there as well. That could be uh, an acceleration point to the downside. You know, looking for a correction back and down to this 15,000, 16,000 area. Um, as far as data, it's the calendar is very light. Um, we've got uh, the ANZ business confidence. We have the monetary policy meeting minutes out of Australia and uh, German IFO in Europe and nothing really in the U.S. tomorrow. So again, it just looks like holiday markets, very subdued price action, not a lot of liquidity, just doesn't seem to be a whole lot of interest. And I think that this is going to continue as we, uh, as the week progresses. Good luck trading, and we'll speak to you on the European Open. All the best.